Hello Libra, welcome back to my channel. I'm Aji and this is Sacred Libra where we talk all things Libra. Make sure you guys are subscribed and make sure you click the like button if this reading resonates with you. Okay, let's get right into it. Today I'm going to be using the Intuitive Night Goddess Tarot deck. I love this deck. <laughs> like love it this is like strongly like just winning me over not only do i like the deck but the shuffle the shuffle though let me take the book out and i like the meanings because it's not like the traditional meanings <clears throat> so i do some cards that difference like different ways to look at things <sighs> so yes the messages it's gonna be put in the general read getting some cards and love finances love relationships finances so what's coming you know that <laughs> you know the regular What's coming towards Libra? The star. And the six of swords. And the two of wands here. <clears throat> so there's a choice to make. For some of you guys, something that you've been praying for, something that you've been wishing for is coming to bring you out of some, it's like something is coming to rescue you and this is something that you've been praying for. You got the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So what you're not seeing this thing to be. The Nine of Pentacles, you're seeing it to be very, very good. So you're happy, satisfied, something that you've been desiring. You got what it is that you've been desiring. Now it's time for you to move forward for a lot of you guys you're going to be able to move forward now with more than what you started okay um what messages do we have for libra and love and love you got the eight of swords what messages do we have for libra and love the ace of cups stepping out okay um so the eight of swords is realizing realizing about some type of self-sabotage or how fear is getting in the way of love so i feel like definitely in love and relationships there definitely can be a deepening bond there um somebody is deepening their bond somebody is somebody is um willing to get a little closer with the other person or go about this cycle in a way of opening themselves up okay being more open not letting self-sabotage get in the way of what it is that you got going on. All right. So for some of you guys in love, there's a person who is... You got the warrior of wands. That's like the knight of wands. And that there's a person who is curious. Okay? Very curious. Willing to explore. But I don't feel like this person has some type of commitment. And with this Queen of Cups energy, this person could be coming into where they're beginning to develop some type of feeling. So you have somebody here that was not really serious, just open, just exploring things. Now they're beginning to develop some type of feelings. And they're not just baby feelings. They're strong feelings, which means somebody could have been avoiding their feelings, but they get into the sense where they're about to start developing these feelings. What else do we have in love? What else do we have in love? Okay. So somebody went through some type of painful ending, um, some type of painful breakup or like an argument that kind of nothing, like you can't really go back. Some things were said that you can't really take back. Type of like tower moments happening. Um, this tower moment was happening to give something energy 
You got the Eight of Wands coming in. It's like... Over this revolution, and this is like the evolution from like things, this evolution, revolutions, things happen. It's like a cycle. Some Somebody could be going through some type of cycle here. Remain open. You do have the potential at the bottom of the deck, and I was thinking about that. And you have the uh, Warrior of Cups. So somebody is definitely, ha somebody has a lot of strong feelings, but they... There's a rocky situation going on when it comes to love, okay? Definitely when it comes to love. Let me bunch these up and I'm going to put um, finances up here. What messages do we have for Libra and finance? Nine of Cups. Okay, what messages do we have for Libra and finances? The high priestess. <laughs> so somebody is definitely getting what it is that they want and desire. Um, you're trusting your intuition on what it is you want to do, how you go about expressing yourself. Um, and in this three of wands card at the bottom of the deck, this is you moving on. Like, you're moving on. You're not waiting. You're in motion. Um, you have reclamation. And I'm, if I'm not mistaken, is that the... Is that the justice card? Hmm. Oh, no. This is the, de the devil card here. So... Here, there could be some type of, um, there could be some type of, I feel like this is you realizing that you're free. You're free to do something. Yeah, you're free. This card, in this one, the, um, rec reclamation, like you're reclaiming your freedom. So for some of you guys, you're getting to a place where you're reclaiming your own freedom. You're getting what it is that your desires. You could be stepping out on entrepreneurship, things like that. And you're just reclaiming your own freedom. Okay, things are going as planned here. Things are going better than expected. What other messages do we have for Libra and finance? Got the Ten of Cups. other messages do we have for Libra and finance happy taking control like I really feel leveling up you're happy you're able to do more things with your family if you work a lot if you spend a lot of time working you're going to have a lot coming in where you can do more time with your family but you're definitely happy you have the monarch that represents the um the emperor the emperor and um this is you definitely being like happy one hundred percent happy happy with what you've gained happy with what you've built just happy and you're enjoying it okay what other messages do we have for Libra and finances freedom And the temperance here. So the freedom card, this is the lovers. Right? Is it the lovers? <clears throat> oh, no. Is that justice? I think that's justice. That's the justice card here. Um, oh, no, it's not. Nope, it ain't. It's the chariot. Okay, the chariot. So you're moving beyond with this chariot card. Let me get that mixed up with the uh, justice card. So this is you in full alignment. Major successes here. Major successes here with the temperance. 
with the temperance card, um, this is you giving back to the world as well. You giving to yourself and also charity. So, so I feel I feel like some of you guys could definitely be um, donating to a lot of charities. I feel like with this wealth, I feel good energy when it comes to career and finances. Definitely leveling up when it comes to jobs or definitely st stepping out on faith. This is like what your once you're stepping out on faith pays off when you realize that you can actually create the life that you want. You're actually realizing that you're free. Um, you're reclaiming your own freedom, what that means to be free, what that means to be financially free. So I do feel like good energy overall when it comes to um, career and finances. Then at the bottom of the deck, this is like finally dropping some type of load, okay? Finally dropping a load, finally being able to be done with something. I'm going to get one card for each of the groups. I like this reading. Okay. Tell me more about the star, the six of swords, and the two of wands, please. You got the three of wands. So there's some type of conflict that you see here. There's a conflict with what it is that you want or what it is that you got because this is coming towards you to something to help you out. In front of you, you're seeing the conflict that it that it is um, creating. Or the conflict that it could create. Behind you, you see the negative, what you're walking away from behind you, okay? Um, I feel like keep on walking forward. If this is something that you truly want, nobody's expectations and nobody's opinions should matter. Like, just for real. Long as you're not hurting nobody, like physically hurting anybody, you're not doing anything, you know crazy but if this is something that you've been desiring then it's what you've been is what you've been desiring it's like maybe walking away from something is creating some type of chaos and I could feel once it's like you were ready to go once you've seen some type of chaos and then now you're like wait a minute so now you have to wait out remember what you're walking into remember what you want this is what you want okay Tell me more about the Eight of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Got two coming out. Okay, somebody's finally able to rest after always getting the, the repeat offender or always thinking about what happened in the past, how a person got over on them in the past, how a person got some type of um, short end of a stick in the past, how what this past person did let me tell you what my ex did or you know I had a crazy ex or I remember when they did me wrong or I remember I don't trust people because blah 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 somebody's giving all of that up they're finally able to rest like I said somebody's understanding how their own self-sabotage is keeping them in present keeping them from the things that they want especially when it comes from comes to love and they're ten they're, they're choosing to do something different which is open their heart instead of being trapped into their mind so this has a lot to do with the past hurts. Somebody is willing to let that go. Somebody's willing to let that go and um, create some type of balance in their life. Tell me more about the warrior of wands and the queen of cups. <laughs> you got this gift. So this is the Ace of Pentacles here. Somebody is trying to be more mature, okay? Um, somebody is not also showing a person because we said this one was about, okay, this is the person who didn't want to commit. Now they're developing feelings and they're not just little feelings, but they're really, really strong feelings. And this is what somebody wants. This is everything somebody wants, okay? Somebody is also, this person is, 
it's not only the Queen of Cups, but then you have the King of Cups at this at the top of the deck. So these feelings are developing and, and they are developing very, very, very quickly um, with somebody. Um, this person, though, you don't see how a person was in pain, suffering, okay? Um, somebody spent a lot of time, like dealing with some past issues and while you don't see it while this person is trying to open up and actually um express their feelings to you or you or vice versa wherever you resonate with it um just be mindful and if this is you take it easy on that things are developing really really quickly and i think you're handling handling them very well also on the other hand this can be very healing somebody don't see how this is healing those parts of them so um but yeah somebody's opening up they're handling themselves feelings are developing deep feelings are developing not only are deep feelings developing but they're developing and growing very 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 quickly somebody is like about to act on those it's like somebody could be presenting you with a gift okay tell me more about revolution and the Eight of Wands. Ouch. Okay. So, there was a painful situation. With this Fool card, this lets me know there was a painful situation. And there's some new energy, some new life. It's like what grew out of the destruction. And that soil, that the same, that something got burned down. These are the flowers that's growing from it. Okay. Um, the, oh, wow. And then the seven of, pen, the seven of um, pinnacles come up and that with this card, with the growth though. <laughs> What's growing out of that soil. You see the growth and you're deciding to take a leap of faith with this person. See the growth in this person and you're deciding to take a leap of faith. Whether this is all connected, whether this is a person who decided to realize their self-sabotaging ways. Also develop strong feelings for a person. Realize their feelings. Realize how not feeling their feelings was stopping them from something and... Deciding to 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 give somebody a leap of faith. I mean, I give somebody a leap. Define deciding to take a leap of faith on a relationship. Uh, and a relationship that could have had a lot of things happen. Like I said, this could have been harsh things said that couldn't be taken back. Um, these things could have had painful endings. Things like that. Painful things could have happened in there. Like there could have been ghosting going on and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, somebody's deciding to take a leap of faith. Somebody's realizing the growth in the situation, realizing that if we both nurture this thing, it possibly can grow and I'm willing to give it a shot. This is like, I'm all in. Okay. Tell me more about the nine of cups and the high priestess. Queen of swords. Know what you want. Okay, um, this is you knowing what you want and going to go get it. Like in action, doing what needs to be done to get what it is you want to live how you want to live, to get what it is that you're desiring. Oh, um, there's a connection here that's just a match. This is a match made in heaven. There's a, a, a great connection here when it comes to work it's like be open to it and bring it in like you're seeing like you're you're open to it you're ready to receive this thing this is you being ready for it like you're ready for this connection um there definitely could be a partnership but it's just something that works well with you whether this is some type of gift that you've tapped into or a talent or a hobby that you tapped into it's like the connection that you have with this thing person could be placed it's it, it's just a dynamic duo um, this is a great direction for you. Okay. Uh, tell me more about the 10 of cups and the monarch. The monarch. 
got the three of pentacles here okay um you could be working together with somebody but i do feel like you're dedicated you're loving what it is that you do like you you love what it is that you do, you you you've done this is emperor emperor energy this is the masculine energy so you love what your masculine energy has built whether you're a masculine libra or you're um just a feminine libra with masculine energy um but you love what your masculine energy has built you love what you've done for the people around you you're sitting back and you're admiring yourself okay you do you're doing what you love and you love what you do okay um at the five the five of wands here and this is crazy because right here and this is you can see the growth so right here you're kind of like wondering what people are going to think it's going to cause chaos blah 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 blah, blah. And right here in this energy with this emperor energy in your in your masculine energy, you don't care. You love what it is that you're doing. You love what it is that you've made. You love what it is that you've created. You love what it is that you've built. You feel everyone's around you, you're happy. You're having um spending a lot of time with your family. You're happy. You can care less what somebody else thinks. That's what the card said. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more about freedom and the temperance for Libra. I feel like with this Knight of Swords, like you're eager to like work, like you're you're working really, really hard. And not only are you working hard, you're doing admirable work. Okay. You have like this big visionary and you your help, you're giving back. You're giving back, okay? You got the hierophant here. This is like godly duties and things like that. Like you're giving back. You're doing your light work. Um, definitely for philanthropy energy here. This is creating a lot of eyes on you, but this is like the happiness when you finally can put down what all your work, all your hard work has paid off. This is when all the hard work's paid off. This is what it looks like when all your hard work's paid off. This is what it looks like, Libra. Okay? So get used to this. So get used to it. That, that's sounding like the title right there. I think I want to go into, if I can grab my energy cards here. I'm going to just grab a deck. Whatever comes out is it. All right, I just dropped everything, but here we go. Let me get you some cards from this Angels and Ancestors deck. All right. If you resonated with any of these messages, please give this video a big thumbs up. This is what it looks like when the hard work pays off. Everything around you starts changing. What closing messages do we have for Libra? Ignite your passions. Fire garden. Guardian. A lot of passions. For some of you guys, this is what your your desires. Still, still go into your desires. And then you have mountains. Stand your ground. I feel like this is that energy here. Some of you guys could be here. Um, stand your ground. This is what you work for. This is your happiness. This is what you want to do. And then you have shapeshifter. Transform and unveil your gifts. I feel like that's that queen of swords energy. That's you coming in. You're understanding what it is you want. You're doing whatever it takes to get what it is that you want, what it is that you desire. Then you have the druid. Hold the space. There's a lot of information in the voids and in the in-between space of things. A lot of wisdom. It's like persevere. Don't give up. Stick it. Stick in there. There's a lot of things that you're... um. 
gaining. But there definitely could be a relationship here. Remember to, to stay open. And, like, stay open to what it is that you desire. Like, pull those things in. Stand your ground. You do, do, you do get to a place where you don't care what other people think or you're not so quick to stop. And do that, especially when it comes to your happiness. So you do g gain some type of um, grounding in that space. And then unveil yourself. Shapeshifter. Transform. Unveil your gifts. Show yourself, okay? So that's the message that I have for you guys today. I hope this reading resonated with you. If it did, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up. And make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.